Rebalanced is a mod of Mario Kart Wii spearheaded and developed by Ark Intel, a prominent member of the Mario Kart Wii community. Working on this mod since around summer of 2020 under the working title Project Mario Kart 6.5, Rebalance aims to rebalance every vehicle and character in order to create a more diverse playing experience, where Funky Kong Flame Runner and Daisy Mock Bike aren't exclusively the meta, similar in veins to mods such as Project Plus. Rebalance V5 was officially released on Friday the 6th of May and shortly after, a tournament was announced. With no cash incentive along with it, the tournament was clearly from the start just for fun. That being said, I decided to participate in the tournament, just to see how good I was playing my main vehicle, the Cheap Charger, which has had significant changes made to it. Most notably, the Mini Turbo stat has been hugely increased along with its Drift stat being tweaked. This wasn't the first rebalanced tournament I participated in. Back during V5's development, a tournament was announced using a beta version of V5 with a similar format. In that tournament, using the Cheap Charger, I made it all the way to Losers Finals, where I then lost. Before talking about my actual tournament run, it's best I explain the format. The tournament was run using the double elimination format, with pools preceding bracket. If you've ever watched a fighting game tournament, you should be familiar with this format. GPs are played with 5 races instead of 4, and GPs before winners and loser semis were played with 8 players in each room. With the top 4 moving on, and bottom 4 being dropped down into losers, or being eliminated from the tournament depending on what side of the bracket they were on. Past winners and losers quarters, GPs were played with 4 people in each room, and top 2 moving on, and bottom 2 dropping into losers, or being eliminated depending on what side of the bracket they were on. In Grand Finals, GPs were played until someone from winners won 2 GPs total, or someone from losers won 3 GPs total. Now, onto my bracket run. Prior to the tournament starting, TOs gather participants into a voice channel to better explain the format of the tournament. Even one of the TOs who hosted the previous tournament gave a nice little comment regarding my skill. The ego boost I needed. The tournament was supposed to start at 7pm GMT, but was slightly behind schedule due to some people dropping out and having to sub in others. So instead of having 8 people competing, we had 6, not counting the host of the room since he wasn't playing. Instead of playing the cheap charger like I usually do, I decided to play the shooting star the sort of bike equivalent to the Cheap Charger. First race of the day took us to Rainbow Road. Falling off twice during the race, I mostly played from the back pulling power items. Despite pulling such items, I wasn't able to catch up and ended up getting 6th. Not a good way to start. Next race was on DK Jungle Parkway, a track that's amazing for vehicles such as the two I mainly play. Despite this, for most of the race I played from the middle, occasionally touching the top 3 for a small amount of time. Come on SSG, this is a shooting star track, come on. Damn, I'm in second, let's go. Up you go, it's a shooting star track, come on. Okay, I got you. Approaching the last corner of the race, I used my golden that I saved from a box set ago, and used that to get my first and only first placing during the entire event with that race putting me comfortably at first overall in the room. The third race was played on Washroom Gorge. With potential to front run the entire race, I managed to slump into last with a bullet. By lap 2, I managed to pull myself back to third, finally doing well for- Well, could be worse. Oh. The fourth race was on Moo Moo Meadows, and honestly, the race can simply be summarized by these two clips. That red shell was way in.
Well, at least it didn't get last. All right, last race on a good track for my vehicle. We can still come back. Okay, good position. And I've got good usage out of my golden. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Well, at least I tried. Ending the GP at 6th place, I was sent to quarterfinals, loser side. Not a bad thing per se, but not necessarily a good thing either. From this point, I decided to switch to Cheap Charger using Toad instead of my usual character, Dry Bones, as Toad has an acceleration and speed bonus useful for online play. I also decided to switch up my item usage style, backing more items than I usually do in order to try and extend any small lead I have over the pack. Going into losers and starting my run, the first race was played on Grumble Volcano. Not too bad for my vehicle, a mostly uneventful race up until the third lap. Seeing someone has a TC and trying to avoid said TC, I inadvertently run off the track into the lava, placing me into the back. From there, I pull triple shrooms, allowing me to take the car and- the? Well, uh, at least I got fifth somehow. Because what the hell happened here, goddamn? Second race is played on one of my picks, Mario Raceway. <laughs> Playing front and back, I pull a good array of items, leading me into second place, before getting shoved into the grass into last. By the last lap, I still have a chance to get a decent position. All until my box gets stolen, leaving me at a large disadvantage, and in last place. Race number 3 is played on Rainbow Road, a normal race for the most part, with a hint of ridiculousness here and there, ending up with 5th place in the race, and 5th place overall in the room. Race 4 was played on Moomin Meadows, a largely fine race with no issues until... I'll let past me do the talking for how I felt. I don't know what place I got because my game just decided to start at the very last moment. Oh my, bro, why? Like that's, that's so lame. That is, that is so annoying. Why did my game have to stutter? All right, well, I could very well be out. Race five, last race of the room. I started the race by playing mostly in the back zero confidence in taking the cup, I simply play it safe and trim around the pit, placing me nicely in third, with a red shell coming straight towards me- oh wait, that ain't good. Coming up on the end of lap 2, I get a beneficial green shell interaction, putting me in third place at the start of the last lap. With an unfortunate pow, I lose my remaining shrooms, putting me once again at a slight disadvantage. Kyle, the Bowser Jr. player, manages to pull a shroom and get past me at the end of the race, putting me in 4th place. Despite getting 4th, I still have barely enough points to qualify for loser semis, beating out Salaxio by 1 point. <laughs> Starting loser semis on a track I have a good time on, we head to Mario Circuit 3. While lap 1 starts off with me getting pelted with items, laps 2 and 3 see me hovering around positions 2nd and 3rd for one of my better performances, Despite being hit by a red shell, I still managed to get second place. For the third time, we head to Rainbow Road. With hopes high, I managed to fall off the track and get the worst possible respawn, placing me in fourth, where I pretty much stayed the rest of the race. Race 3 takes us to Raceway once again. By chaining two stars, I placed myself in second place by the end of lap 1. Looking like a good race so far, all for it to go horribly wrong by lap 3, whereby an exact repeat of race 2 and loser's quarters happens, where I have my box stolen before the last straightaway, firmly placing me in 4th yet again. For race 4, we head to Luigi Circuit, another one of my picks. At the second box set, I pull a golden shroom, which I managed to keep in order to execute my master plan. With second place in hand, 
I execute the plan and... Uh, oh. Oh. Final race of loser semis, and possibly the final race of my losers run. We head to Mushroom Gorge. Pulling another golden, I use that by the end of lap 1 in order to get myself in the second place, maintaining that position for... Excuse me? Well, at least I got this bullet that put me into second, that should qualify me for losers finals. And that was two points off. I lost. That went well. Overall, I felt like I slightly underperformed while playing, as I expected myself to at least end up in losers finals. Nonetheless, I still had a good time. Before I end this video and plug my Twitch, I want to share some thoughts I had regarding the tournament and some improvements that would be nice to see. Though it's mainly me joining about my loss, so skip to the end if you want. Assuming time constraints were the issue here, it would have been nice for pools and the main bracket before semis and finals to follow a 2GP format, afterwards following a 3GP format. This would be to loosely match the rule set to official Morgi Lounge rule sets and give more legroom for those within the bottom half of the leaderboard. It also would have been nice for the bracket to be scheduled in such a way that winner sets and loser sets are played one at a time to allow players to cool down and practice. I don't expect these changes to happen however because time is a very valuable thing that some people don't have much of, so I'm fine with the way things are. I know virtually next to nothing about TOing, but during the downtime between GPs, I saw brackets were done manually on a separate document instead of smash.g- uh, oh, oh my bad. Start.gg. Doing a bracket on start.gg provides people a one-stop place to view brackets and looks much nicer on the eyes. Developing on the last point made, tables also seem to be done manually instead of the usual way via the Mario Kart tabler bot on Discord. Though it would take some time to set up correctly, it makes the tabling process much easier and, once again, looks nicer. Thank you for watching me go 1 and 2 in bracket. Should you want to try rebalance and even participate in the tournament, please check out the rebalance discord for more information. If you have rebalance set up and wish to use custom music, I have a video on how to add custom music to your game which you can watch here. If you want to see me suffering mainly Mario Kart, and maybe even some other games, you can follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash yaboysgg, where I usually stream every Saturday. Anyways, see ya. Hey, the villain is here, with Holiday Cheer on Adult Swim. And now, Family Guy. <laughs>